When one door closes, another one opens. I have felt this sort of stupid saying, because obviously there's always been something else we could do, whether for a project or just for life in general. I never really understood the true feeling of having a door close on me. For my first couple years of high school, most things came easily to me. I got fours easily, aced my honors math classes, and did well on my final. I was coasting. School was honestly boring, except for a few couple projects that interested me. When I heard that one of my classmates was going to somewhere called the Island School over the summer, it piqued my interest. I had never heard of it before, but now it's a name I'll probably remember for a long time. After reading through their website, I was hooked. It was like nothing I had seen before, yet it was everything I dreamed of. Living in the Bahamas, learning to scuba dive, having friends and classmates who were interested in the same things that I was, and being taught subjects and skills I could actually use later on in life, like marine ecology and how to do real scientific research. I spent months on and off working on my application, putting in my transcript, cultivating thoughtful responses to the essay prompts, being interviewed over Skype, and asking for letters of recommendations. When I finally hit the submit button, it felt good. This was the first real assignment that I had poured my heart and soul into. For the next month and a half, I tried to push it from my mind and focus on my schoolwork, but my excitement just kept building. I was confident that I would be able to spend fall semester at the Island School, and I couldn't wait until admissions decisions came out. Finally, the day came, and I checked my email all day, refreshing constantly. Then, around 6 o'clock, it came. Thank you for your interest. Okay, so far so good. It is with regret that we inform you that we are unable to offer you a place at the Island School. Those words hit me hard. I had spent months building up excitement for what I thought was a sure thing. But there it was, my dream, rejected. Door slammed shut right in my face. Honestly, I spent most of the weekend crying. It took me a while before I really felt like I could move on, and that first semester of junior year here would still be fine. Then, I found something. It wasn't a semester abroad, but it was just as interesting. A summer program, also to the Bahamas, this time with a real-world focus on marine biology and research. This time, no application, no chance for door closing. Now that I knew what it felt like, I wasn't ready for a repeat closing just yet. I knew how important it was for me to experience this, but I was ready to move on. And of course, it still hurts sometimes when people ask me if I'm going to the island school and I have to explain that I'm not, but I'm ready to move on. This door is wide open and I couldn't be more excited to walk through it. Woo!